on my big fat What's going on guys and welcome back to Jumps and Spots. Today we're going to be taking a look at the map Green Ban. I love this map. A lot of the maps in Advanced Warfare are really, really good and I just can't get enough of them. I love this game so much. I play it all the time and it's just awesome. So if we start off on this back side of the map, a lot of you guys know about this painting thing that you can get up on top of. It's a really, really good spot to use for taking out people coming from any of these doorways because you can see all of the doorways and not a lot of people expect you to be up here. Also, what you can do is you can jump up on top of these lamps and then you can do the same thing. Take people out coming from this walkway back here. Take people out coming through this door. Anybody coming from underneath you, you can shoot them from up here. Same thing applies for the lamp that's on the other side of this one over here. Also, what you can do is you can get up on top of these ledges here and not a lot of people know about this, but you also like this ledge goes all the way around this back part of the the uh, room back here and you can just sit up here take people out coming from that doorway there take people out coming from that doorway and that doorway also the doorway coming from underneath you and it just it gets you a lot of kills I never knew about this this spot before until I play like I think it was about the third week playing Advanced Warfare, I saw somebody jump up here and I was like, hmm, I didn't know you could get up there. And I went up here and I got a ton of kills just by using this spot run whenever I run through this area because nobody really knows about it. So definitely use it to your advantage. Also, if you come to this middle area here, you have this to your advan your um, cover here, also this wall to your cover, and you can take people out coming from that walkway back there and then trying to get into that door. And then also people coming from this door underneath here too. Same thing applies for this side. Take people out coming from that door, the door underneath you, and then anybody spawning in this back area over here also if you come over to here you can take people out if they run through this doorway under here and then also anybody else coming from this area also one thing that I really like to do when I'm coming through here and say I'm getting chased I run through this door here double jump boost back and then you can just get up here wait for the person to run through and then take them out just like that don't use this as a camping spot though because I absolutely hate people that camp up there just use it if you're trying to get through this place and you want to take it take out anybody who's back here because it gives you a lot of cover and just this is the uh, element of surprise so definitely use it try not to camp it out too much though because it gets really annoying also if we move over to this side over here this little this little uh chrome garbage can is super super useful so what you can do is you can jump up on top of it okay so it's not that useful but then you can jump up on top of this thing here and then get down onto this little ledge right here so if you sit down on this ledge here you have this to your cover here you have this for some cover and then you can see this entire right side of the map over here and take out anybody coming through this right side of the map also then you can kind of just like scooch forward a little bit take out people coming from this middle of the map and then you can go onto this ledge right here a little bit more if i don't fall off there we go, and you can work your way up a little bit. See, all the way over to that rock garden over there, and take out anybody on the top of that rock garden over there. You can also see straight to that back window there, and then you can see more of this right side of the map, and more of the center of the map here. And then if you move all the way up to the top, it opens up pretty much the entire map. You can take out anybody coming from that left side, anybody coming from the middle, and anybody coming from the right. And definitely use this spot when you're playing online, especially if you're in a one-on-one -on -one search and destroy moment. Use this to your advantage because it will open up the entire map to you and you'll be able to see anybody if they're coming from anywhere on this map. And not a lot of people know about this spot, so they won't really think to look up here. So definitely use it to your advantage. And then if you do get spotted, you can just kind of quickly jump down into there and you're on your way. So if we move on to this other side of the map over here, if I don't die, okay, good. So you guys can see we have all these different hedges on this side of the map. Same thing applies for the middle and then the left side. These things are super, super useful for when you're playing online because you can jump up on top of them and you can crouch, not crouch, but you can kind of just fall down onto this ledge here and you can use these hedges as cover for taking out anybody coming from anywhere on the map if, you, if you're at a hedge spot. Then you can just kind of quickly jump onto this ledge here take anybody out coming from that little tunnel right there and then do the same thing jump on this one here and then take people out coming from that little waterfall right there and then you can also use this one right here to see to this side of the map and then you can move up here and do the same thing use this as some more cover and take out anybody coming from that window right there or trying to get through that little top area where that rock is right there or anybody coming from that rock garden over there or this roof up here so definitely use that to your advantage because it helps out a ton same thing applies for that one there and any of the other uh bush 
uh, I don't even know what they're called, bush thingies. <laughs> so if we move back to this back side of the map over here, nobody usually comes back here. And a matter of fact, nobody ever looks back here. So definitely use this, this spot back here if you're trying to call in kill streaks or anything like that. Just lay down in the grass right here and then call in your kill streak. Nobody will expect you to be back here, especially because it's, it's just a completely random spot on this entire map. Nobody ever spawns back here, so definitely use that to your advantage. Now if we move into this little dining area over here, you can't really do much in here except for this spot right here. So you can get up on top of this black chair here and you can kind of head glitch this wall and you can see that area right there. You can't see much of it, but if anybody's trying to jump up over top of this, then you can take them out like that. And then you can see all the way to the back side of this map to where that rooftop is over there where snipers like to sit. And this is really, really helpful because nobody, none of the snipers that are sitting up there are going to look at this little square spot down here so definitely use this to your advantage if you're trying to take out a sniper that's sitting up there because they will not expect you to be here at all so if we move into this middle part back here this is another very big main spot main spawn point for this map you have these stairs here that lead up to this window everybody uses this window and these stairs could mean the life could mean life or death for you and I highly suggest not using these stairs instead jump up on top of the stairs like this and then take out anybody that's camping up on this top area up here it's so much quicker and they're not going to expect it at all so just jump up and you're up there already take out anybody who's on this top ledge up here anybody using this window here same thing applies for those stairs over there because it takes so much more time just to run up these stairs and then take the person out and then take anybody out from up here because they're going to see you right away instead you can just jump up here Take him out really quickly, have the element of surprise, and you're on your way to a victory. So if we move back up to here, as I was saying before, a lot of people like to use this window here. And I usually, I just run up to this thing like this, and then I get taken out instantly. So what I suggest doing is using this thing, this little, okay, so it's not little, it's an absolutely gigantic, uh, what is it? Aquarium. I was going to say washing machine for some reason. So you guys can see that you can kind of see through this aquarium and you can see all the way to that back roof over there. And if you scooch over to the side, you can see that entire roof there and you can take out anybody who's up there. The snipers up there won't be able to see you that well if you're back here and they won't expect they won't expect you to be sitting this far away from the window. So use that to your advantage. Same thing applies for this side. If you come over to here, you can see all the way to that back left side of the map. So use that to your advantage as well. Now if we move down here and we get to this back side of the map, this back side, this back side back here, not a lot of people use this area back here, but what you can do is you can run underneath the rock garden, hop up here, and then you can see over top of this little ledge thing. I don't know what it is. You can see up over top of it and you can see anybody who's coming through this middle area through here, going through that tree area, and then also anybody on top of that rooftop up there. You can take anybody out from over there. Same thing applies for these little bamboo thingy mabobbers here. You can get up on top of them, take people out coming through that tunnel there. Same thing for the rock garden right there. And then you can also do the same as that one. Now this little runway under here, it's really, really useful because if there's anybody above you, you can use this runway to get up there really quickly and you can surprise the heck out of the people that are up there and they won't even be expecting it and you'll get an insta instant kill pretty much instantly. So what you can do is you can get up on this ledge here, jump to the side and then boost jump up and you're, you're automatically instantly up here and you can just take them out. They won't even be expecting it. If there's somebody camping behind one of these rocks, just use that to your advantage. Get up here and take them out and they won't even expect it. Same thing applies for trying to get down. Although getting down is a little bit harder and I'm going to see if I can do this. I'm probably not going to be able to do it. Okay, I did it. Sweet. So as you can see, you can get right back down too. And you can do this on pretty much any spot. Although I'm not going to do it because I'm probably going to die. Not going to lie. All right. If we move back here, you guys know, like I said a ton of times, tons of people like to go up on top of this roof here. And what people normally do is they run up these stairs and then they run up these stairs and then they run up these stairs. And then they climb up on top of this thing and then they jump up on top of this roof and that takes way too long so i'm going to show you two different ways that you guys can get up there way quicker so definitely use these when you're playing online so what you can do is run up these stairs jump up on top of this thing jump up and boom you're already up here so much quicker than having to run all the way around and then run all the way back over to here and then if we go to this side over here you can do the exact same thing except for you use these, double jump up on top of this thing, double jump up, and you're already up here, you're on your way to taking out anybody who's sitting up here, and then you can just move, make your way to this side of the map, or you can stay up there if you want. So that is pretty much, oh, wait, two more things I forgot. 
These things aren't that useful, but they are really fun to use. So we have three of these trees, these cherry blossom trees on this map. We have one right there, one in the middle, and then there's also one all the way in that back corner of the map. And you can get inside of all three of these cherry blossom trees, just like this. And these things are so fun to use. People get so mad because they don't even know you're in here. And you have a ton of cover too. It's They're fun to use. You... <sighs> You won't do amazing using these spots, but if you want to have some fun, go ahead and use them because they are a lot of fun to use. So that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Jumps and Spots on Green Band. I love this map, like I said at the beginning. It's a great map. A lot of the maps in Advanced Warfare are really good. Use any of these spots as you like. If you guys find any new spots, then go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will try out your suggestions. Also, if you guys want me to do a, like a certain map, any map in particular, let me know in the comment section below because I will do it no matter what. Alright, that is it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Booyah.